Welcome to part two of commercial battery powered lawnmowers. In part one, we looked at how well they collect, how much grass the grass boxes hold and how low they can cut, as well as the specifications. In this video, we are gonna look at how well they mulch, how well they can tackle long grass and look at their run times. We're Machinery Nation and we bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday all about tools and machinery. So please consider subscribing, hit that like button and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our action. Let's get cracking. Tested by Machinery Nation. So I've taken all the grass boxes off the mowers and fitted in the mulch plugs. So we're ready to mulch. The first test, we're gonna take a little area per mower around different areas of the garden and see how well they mulch. Right, still up first. Let's do some mulching. The steel has done a pretty good job, to be quite honest. It's taken 50% of the material off. And in heavy mulching, I'd normally only recommend a third of the material, so the ground has got plenty of room to be able to absorb the grass clippings that you've cut down. Right, let's check out underneath the cutting deck to see how much grass has built up underneath. To be fair, I'm quite surprised that she's a little bit of build up, as you would expect. The grass isn't the driest today, as I would say to you, for mulching wise, you want the grass as dry as possible. There's a little bit of build up around the outside, but to be fair, the mower would probably cope with that as it built up even further, but he'd rip it off and mulch it up. So no, for a twin bladed machine, I am quite impressed. It's Toro time. As expected from the Toro, because the petrol version of this, I know is a fantastic mulcher and it's done a great job. I cannot fault it one bit. Right, let's have a look under the deck. To be fair, it's pretty much what I'd expect from underneath any mulching deck. It's got a bit of build up in it. The grass is a little bit damper today as to expect, but no, that's what I'd expect from a mulching deck. So pretty pleased. Right, it's Milwaukee time and the grass is a little bit longer here than it was in the other two. So good luck to the Milwaukee. And then the next one as well, it's got a little bit longer grass as well. But anyway, let's just cut it and see how we get on. has done a great job and in the longer grass you can really hear the boost like the load sensor kick in and the mower go to go through that longer grass and it's still mulched it really well to be fair there's actually a little bit more grass under here than i'd like to see but we have been mulching more than i'd recommend in damp grass but yeah i wouldn't want to see that much mulch grass underneath stuck to the bottom because we know that just builds up over time i'd like to have seen that a little bit clearer Makita time. Again, a little bit longer grass and a little bit shorter grass. Let's see how it gets on. I think we have found Makita's home ground. Mulching has done a great job, even with lots of sticks and debris in the grass. The long grass it has taken it down really nicely. You can hardly see anything left on here. Very impressed. To be quite honest, that is a really clean deck. There's not a great deal underneath there at all. A little bit of residue around the edge, but otherwise pretty clean. All right, karcher time. And again, we've got some nice long grass for it. Let's give it a go.
the cutter keeps surprising me and it's done a cracking job as good as all the others. To be quite honest, the build-up isn't too bad. Again, there's a little bit around the outside, which I wouldn't want to see so much. But to be fair, it is damp up here, so it's to be expected. Ah yes, motor time. I've got to say these handles are super comfortable in that design rather than that design, but each to their own. Right, let's see how much material is built up underneath. To be fair, there isn't too much build up under the deck, just as much to be expected from a damp mulching mower. I have lined up all six mowers because we are going to have a drag race in longer, thicker, horrible, tufty, rank old grass. Oh yes, we've got some horrible grass out here. It's not as long as I'd like it, but then it is March and it hasn't really started growing, so it's the best I've got. But we're gonna see how far they can cut. I've set all the mowers to about halfway on each of them, so they're about not on the lowest setting, not on the highest setting, just halfway. Right, let's start with a still, work our way up and see how far we get with each one. The still made it. The still has reached the top. The Toro has done it as well. Another one, the Milwaukee's done it. Oh, we've got a staller. She has stopped there about 10 feet from the end. The car just finished. She's at the end. The AS has made it. Right, we seem to have a bit of an issue here, and that's the Makita doesn't want to keep up with the other mowers. There's two tests now where it has let us down. I'm gonna ask Makita to send me another mower, because that is a second-hand mower. I don't know if there's something wrong with it or not, but it just doesn't seem right. So hopefully in another video, We'll show that again, because that should be keeping up with these. Should be easily keeping up with these. Sorry, Makita fans, if you're upset about this. I am as well. I thought it would be as good as them. So hopefully Makita will sort us out and um, get us a, a, another mower to do some more tests with it. So one of the biggest questions we get asked is what is the runtime on a battery mower? How long does each battery last? Well, here's your chance to find out. Obviously, there are a lot of variants in how long a battery will last. For instance, how long the grass is, how wet the grass is, how dense the grass is, the type of grass you've got, how thick the moss or thatch is in the lawn will make a difference to your runtime. And it's a bit like a petrol lawnmower or a car. If you look at that, if you drive something harder, it will use the fuel quicker. So I've done some calculations, and bearing in mind, these are my calculations using the information I've got from manufacturers, other reviews, and lots of information across the good old websites that I can find. And I've used all that information to work out the run times on each of these mowers. So the still using the AR3000 backpack battery is capable of cutting up to 3,100 square meters, which is about three quarters of an acre, or about 80 minutes of use. The Toro runs on a 7.5 amp hour battery and in the kit you get two batteries. And on each battery it will run for about 40 minutes, which is about 1,500 square meters. So in total about three quarters of an acre on both batteries. The Milwaukee runs on two M18 batteries and with two 12 amp batteries in the machine, it will run for about 50 minutes, which will cut about 2,000 square meters of grass, which is about half an acre. The Makita running on the PDC 1200 backpack battery will run for about 95 minutes, which works out to be about 4,000 square meters, about an acre. The Karcher runs on a 7.5 amp hour battery. We've got two of them in there, but on each battery, it will run for about 50 minutes and it'll cut up to about 2,000 square meters, which is about half an acre. 
The AS motor runs on Ego batteries, and in here we've got two 12 amp hour batteries. And with them, you'll get about 95 minutes of run time, working out to be about an acre. Right, I found some longer stuff. It has not been touched for years and years and years. So we're gonna try and cut through some of it. Let's do it. Oh, that'll be the still at its limit now. Doesn't like the real, real thick stuff. Let's try another. The Toro has done it, right. It's as far as the Toro and Milwaukee and Toro have got to the finish line. Oh, the car chair has stalled. In other words, we've got to leave it there. Right, AS motor. Well, I think I can say that the AS has probably got the most power. The other two, the Milwaukee and the Toro, slowed down a lot. You had to sort of baby them through. The AS just wanted the power right the way through that. So it's very impressive. The power of that Ego engine, as I like to call it, is just whopping through it. I am, yeah amazed. So there we are, we have shown you what these six commercial mowers can do, what they're good at, what they're not so good at, what they should be designed for what you need them to do. So it's now up to you to make your decision which one is right for your purpose. Now let's check them out individually. So the steel, it is a nice wide cut, it is of a good build quality. I love the mono handle so you haven't got to reach in under to get the grass box. It does a cracking job, love it. The Toro, if you want a mower which is like a petrol mower but battery operated, then this is the machine for you. The build quality is fantastic. The Milwaukee has done everything that we have chucked at it. Super impressed. The build quality is more professional than it is commercial, but it is a great machine and doing a cracking job. The Makita, the build quality is superb. It is built like a tank. It is certainly built for a commercial purpose. I think there's something up with this machine, hence what hasn't kept up with the others in the test. So I'm going to speak to Makita about that and hopefully there'll be another video on this channel coming soon about this machine. The Karcher is the one that surprised me the most. I didn't have massively high expectations for it, but it has done everything we wanted it to do. And it's done it really, really well. Very surprised, but I'd say it's more of a professional machine than it is a commercial machine. The AS motor has done everything we have thrown at it and even tackled some really, really rough grass. So if that's more what you're looking for, then this is the machine for you. But thank you for watching. We're Machinery Nation and we bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday all about tools and machinery. So please consider subscribing, hit that like button and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our action. We'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.